Hello everybody, welcome to Sermon on the Go. Uh, today I will be talking about three important traits or things that we need in our journey with Christ as we follow Christ as disciples of his kingdom. Firstly, I will be talking about a gift or gifts. Secondly, I will be talking about living faith or dead faith. And third and finally, I will be talking about sin in a very different dimension. The Bible says, do not be deceived. Every good gift and every perfect gift come from above and comes down from the Father of Light, with whom there is no variation or shadow of turning. What is a gift? Well, there are two kinds of gifts. The first kind of gift is a natural ability or a talent or a skill that a person has and the second kind of gift is a gift or a thing or an item given to someone there are four types of gifts one the gift god gives to humanity so god's gifts to humanity or God's gift to you and I is the first type of gift we have. The second type of gift is the gift you give to yourself. The third type of gift is the gift you give to other people. And the fourth and final type of gift is the gift you receive from other people. What is the purpose of a gift? Well, I'll describe this on two levels. The first level is that God has given you a natural ability, a talent, a skill to be able to survive in this realm of the earth. Everybody has a natural ability and we use those talent to survive. Many of us use our natural abilities, our skills as a way of employment. Many people are in employment solving problems with their natural abilities, skills and talent. And of course, they get paid for that. So that's the first level of the purpose of a gift. Now, the second level of the purpose of a gift is this. We often give gifts to reconnect or reestablish our connections with other people, which means that they are a reflection of both the giver and the receiver as well as their unique relationship giving gifts to the people we care about confirms and allows us to communicate our feelings and appreciation for them in other words the way to check or the way to know that you appreciate somebody is by giving them a gift. You show your appreciation to the people around you when you give them a gift. Of course, many people quote uh, John 3.16, but that is a classic example of what it means to show appreciation to somebody we love. God 
shows his appreciation for humanity that he gave his only begotten son the thing that was so dear to his heart God released that and in that process won an entire earth for himself won many people for himself because of course giving Jesus Christ as a gift to humanity means that there are now over 3 billion Christians in the world and around the world who believes in Jesus and have become part of the family of God. And this was all made possible because of God's gifts to humanity in Jesus Christ our Lord. If God can give something that was very dear to his heart, give it freely for humanity in order to draw more people to himself and win more souls for his kingdom. We as his children, we have to learn to be appreciative by giving gifts to the people around us because that is the only way we can communicate our feeling of appreciation for the people around us. When we don't give gifts to the people around us, when we refuse to give gifts, when we are stingy, then we are saying that we do not appreciate the people God has put on our way. We are saying that we do not appreciate, we are not thankful to God for the people God brings our way to support and guide us. Now, this ties in very neatly to the next subject I want to talk about, which is living faith or dead faith. The Bible says, if a brother or sister is naked and lacks daily food, and one of you say to them, go in peace, keep warm and eat your fill, and yet you do not supply their bodily needs, what is the good of that? So faith by itself, if it has no works, is dead. Our faith must be accompanied by our generous actions. When this doesn't happen, then your faith in Christ is dead. That's what the Bible is saying. It is important to note that if you are not kind and generous to yourself, then you can never be generous to other people. It's as simple as that. Whoever is not kind to themselves, whoever is not generous to themselves, you can never be generous and kind to other people because of course you cannot give what you don't have in romans chapter 12 verses 9 and 12 we read let love be genuine without hypocrisy hate what is evil cling to what is good love one another in mutual affection outdo one another in showing honor not lagging in diligence fervent in spirit serving the lord the third and final thing i want to talk about today is sin and the particular one i'm about to talk about perhaps you haven't come across it before or you have maybe forgotten about it 
or you haven't perhaps come across it in the Bible. Lack of doing good. Unkindness. Lack of generosity is a sin. You didn't know that, did you? <laughs> Lack of doing good. Unkindness. Lack of generosity is a sin. When you are not generous, when you don't show goodness, when you are unkind, it means you're sinful. Let's just confirm that with the scriptures. <laughs> Therefore, to him who knows to do good and does not do it, to him it is a sin. Remember, it is a sin to know what you ought to do and then not do it. Anyone who knows the right thing to do but fails to do it commits sin. That's quite interesting, isn't it? If we know that we have to show kindness, if we know that we are supposed to be kind and we don't show that kindness, the Bible says that is a sin or we are committing sin if we know what is good and we don't do it. If we know the right thing to do and we fail to do it, then we are committing sin. It's quite an interesting revelation, isn't it? But my dear friends, there you have it. Today we've discussed about gifts and we've learned that it is God that gives us our natural gift, our ability. In fact, everything you have in your home, the clothes on your body, what I'm wearing, everything I have in this study, all the computers behind me is a gift from God. And I must acknowledge that. And I must be appreciative of that. And know that if somebody is in need and I have what it takes to be generous to them and I fail to do it, then I am committing sin. If you know to do good and you do not do it, then it's a sin. So all the resources you have, the roof over our head, your car, everything you have, when you die, none of them is going with you. You will be buried in a single coffin. Nothing, not even your watch, is going with you. Remember that and begin to show kindness. Start to do good. Be generous. Be thankful to God for the gifts he has given you. If you show kindness to the people around you, it is the only way to communicate to them that you value their friendship. It is the only way you can communicate to them your feeling of affection, of appreciation to those who are around you. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for this day. We thank you for teaching us about the gift you have given to humanity. We thank you for our personal and individual gifts. We thank you for our corporate gifts. We thank you that you have taught us to have a living faith and to learn to provide for those in need. Be kind and show goodness to the people around us. Almighty God, may you strengthen us 
May you help us to learn to put these words into active practice in our lives to glorify your name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My dear friends, uh, don't forget to follow me on TikTok, Facebook, and YouTube. Share this message and I shall see you soon. Shalom. Peace. <laughs>